I think ambition, in simple terms, to me it means achieving your goals, but I think it can mean probably many different things. What are you, it depends on, it's entirely dependent on what your goals are. Now, I don't think that is restricted to business life, I think it's probably to, uh, uh, can cross over to any, anything from sort of personal or, um, you know, uh, things you quietly want to achieve in the background. Um, but yeah, really basic terms to me, ambition is, is just about setting goals and achieving them. So on that definition, are you ambitious? Extremely ambitious. I think I'm uh, very much a goal setter. I mean, I don't know if people would say that they weren't ambitious. I find the question quite an interesting one. Uh, I think, uh, you know, I've always been a goal setter, someone who likes to Set, see, see something in the future and, 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 and go out there and achieve it and often I've found over the years that if I write my goals down uh, I sort of tick them off um, but if I just drift along without any specific goals in mind or set um, sometimes I uh, you know don't achieve what I want to achieve. So if I asked you who was the most ambitious person you know or asked you to describe the most ambitious person you know what would pop into your mind? I, I, I had a thought about this and I think it has to be Gordon Ramsay because I, you know, I spent 11 years with the guy and um, working with him and uh, you know, I don't think he is a, you know, perhaps not what I've just talked about which is writing things down but he's, a, he's extremely driven, extremely ambitious, extremely hungry uh, and he has um, incredible amounts of energy and I think you know, that's what it takes to uh, you know, go out and achieve things in life, right? You have to really, nothing, nothing, nothing I don't think anything good ever comes easy. Uh, nothing does it, you know, every, most things you have to work for, really hard. I mean, oh, you know, I've got a wife and two kids and I often think of my kids, you know, um, that, that they certainly drive me to, um, in really simple terms, probably just to provide for them. And it doesn't mean that they need to live an extravagant lifestyle or they need to have anything outside of the ordinary, but it means that I do have to take care of them and provide for them as a father. And I think that's one thing that, um, you know, I suppose during hard times and that sort of thing, when you're finding life a bit stressful or work a bit stressful or anything like that, that, that probably helps get you through a little bit. Do you have any thoughts on how New Zealanders view ambition generally? That's a funny, and it could be a very difficult question in terms of New Zealand. I think, uh, you know, Kiwis have a way of downplaying everything and, and uh, we're quite a relaxed country and have a really relaxed nature and, and I definitely don't think people look down on ambition or, or anything like that, but um, I don't necessarily think um, we are good at celebrating success and, and I put myself in the same basket, maybe it's something you just inherently brought up being, um, you know, uh, you don't really pat yourself on the back much, you sort of just get on with the job and that's what's expected to be done and that's, that's the way life is, right? Americans are great at celebrating um, success, life, they, you know, they, they, they shout and scream about it, uh, about each other and that sort of thing and I think it's important as a, as a as a country that you shout and scream about our country because we have an incredible country and why not celebrate it? We don't do that enough, right? We don't go, you know, we live in one of the best places on earth. We have incredible lifestyles. We, you know, um, it's an amazing country and we, we sort of, sometimes it's a bit more, oh, it's okay. And I, I've been, uh, how would you call it, brutally aggressive about my ambitions and going out there and putting myself in positions that I am extremely uncomfortable in or I find extremely tough, you know, whether that's working extremely long hours or, um, you know, just putting myself in situations that are, are really demanding and, uh, you know, I always thought that I could go out there and, you know, do double the hours and learn twice as much as anyone else could in half the time and, and you know, challenge myself to be better, faster and, and then expect the same from my staff. And I, but I think you go through different periods in life where you are at different levels of comfort depending on what's going on in your life. And life changes, you know, you, you figure that one out growing up when you possibly hit your mid-40s or, you know, you've seen a bit, right? And you've seen you had a few ebbs and flows and there's periods in your, 
you know, when you're 20, in your 20s you feel invincible and, and, and nothing really matters and, and uh, bar achieving your goals, I suppose. But, you know, then you get into your 30s and 40s and life changes and you have kids and you've got different demands on you and, and, and that doesn't mean you have to give up that um, ambition and that, uh, and I use that word aggression towards it because I think it is, you really have to get up and push yourself in the morning, right? Um, it's very easy to just sort of sit back a little bit and not, not push yourself every day. So I think in terms of going, you know, advice to someone else, if I, you know, the question I get asked most often is, as a young chef, what do I do as a young chef to go and achieve, achieve my goals? I say go get out there and get in, get in an extremely good business uh, with, with, with great people that you can work extremely hard and learn as much as possible. And whether that's a, you know, a, a great burger chain or a great fish restaurant or a great, um, you know, three Michelin star restaurant. It's all about same, same, right? It's, it's what your, your chosen path is and, and just get into it.